Today's video is going to showcase the perfect con. We are going to be looking at a moment from one of Diaz Biffle's most recent uploads to YouTube. This showcases something with his aim that I have seen replicated with somebody using cheats. Now we have the comparison to show you today, so sit back and enjoy. Ah, uh, there's no way I could, right? For what? Choke this? Enemy UAV active. Nah, nah, nah. Objective I have a chance for next game, but I'm doing a... I have a UAV now. That just looks like a normal snipe, right? Nothing suspicious here. Let's come back to this in a minute. Now let's take a look at the Diaz Biffle clip again. Now let's apply the same to the clip with Cheat showing. So you can already see the similarity in that shot to what we've seen in the cheating footage, the smoothness of how the aim corrects itself from being to the right side of the enemy onto the enemy, or at least where the enemy is going to be. This shot right here from Diaz Biffle with the sniper is definitely one of the most damning clips I've ever seen. This is something that I would really honestly like to see people replicate. People might think that they can do it, but it will not look as smooth or as perfect as what you have seen in this clip today. Diaz Biffle is using Gamebot. Diaz Biffle has clearly shown multiple signs of different features that are included surrounding Gamebot. One of them being locked to centre chest, another one being locked to head. And now with this one, just like many people who use snipers and aimbot, he has adjusted his smoothness. He has put on player prediction and this way it allows his shots to still hit. This is a very common feature people use, especially when sniping using aimbots because... If they were to have it set to lock onto heads and an enemy is gliding in or an enemy is in the distance, it is not going to hit them because by the time that bullet reaches them, they will have already moved. That is why player prediction is a feature with aimbot. And that's exactly what I'm seeing in this clip today. So like we've said recently, take me out of the equation. Take a look at the gameplay. Compare it to the cheating footage you've seen today. Compare it to your own gameplay if you have to, but get to the decision yourself. Don't base your opinion on whether you like me or dislike me. Don't base your opinion on whether you like or dislike Diaz Biffle. Just base it off the gameplay that's being shown today. That's how you will get to the truth. And deep down, I think you already know the answer. If you did enjoy the video guys, smash that thumbs up if you're new. Subscribe, turn on notifications, and that way you will not miss a future upload. If you want to support the channel further, you can hit that blue join button today and become a member of the Triple B fam. And guys, do not forget to go and follow me on Twitter at BadBoyBeeman. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. Puh, puh, puh. Peace!